Government seeking external assistance in correcting e-governance project. Ghana Fire Service received 2,000 fire calls in 2014, responded to several rescue calls. Government's investments in hinterland communities paying off and electricity rates to be reduced following President's call to GPL, head of Presidential Secretariat. With this union news capsule, I'm Janelle Carter. Good evening. The Guyana Fire Service recorded 2,000 fire calls in 2014, a 13% increase compared with 2013. Chief Fire Officer Marlon Gentle said fewer buildings were destroyed during 2014. There was an increase in buildings that were slightly damaged, a significant increase. And that was attributed to quicker responses by the fire service in that those buildings did not go down, but they were saved, uh, resulting in minor damages. Apart from that, we have seen also a decrease in um, fire started by children. We've also seen a decrease in some electrical fires. And more importantly, we have seen a 10% reduction in life loss from fires last year. However, during last year, more calls were made to the fire service in terms of accidents and rescues. Gentle pointed out that the fire service responded to 27 road traffic accidents last year and had to rescue persons trapped in vehicles. Ambulance work was done in some outlying areas. Works on the backbone cable for the e-governance project will continue with the need for a significant amount of defects to be corrected along the installation spanning Letem to Georgetown. According to Cabinet Secretary Dr. Roger Lenchen, the number one option is for the government to work with an external party to completely rehabilitate and restore the effective cable to serviceability. Under those conditions, the partner to be identified will be provided with a consideration appropriation to the expenditure that they would be incurring in correcting the defects. The government's e-governance project, which started in late 2009, allows for a 4G network cloud system that will serve as the premier data center for all government information. On an annual basis, the government spends close to $1 billion countrywide to upkeep the school's hot meal program. And as part of this initiative, several schools in the hinterland region are already seeing results. At the Makushi Primary School, which is located in Shulina, Rupununi, a total of 141 students are benefiting from this program. So when this hot meal came into existence, it really helped out the Attendance rate went up like from like, 45 to like 95 percent. Like, so that it was a, there was a big change in, in when the hot meal came into existence. There has been significant improvement in attendance rate of school children. This initiative also provides employment and other economic opportunities for villagers. The National Cultural Center will come alive later this evening with the much-anticipated Junior Calypso competition as 10 contestants, two from Regions 2, 3, 4, 5, and 10, will be vying for the 2015 crown. This competition is part of this year's Mashramani activities to commemorate Guyana's 45th Republic anniversary. The contestants said they will be focusing on issues that are currently facing society to bring awareness in the minds of the young generation. Electricity rates are set to be reduced following President Donald Ramatar's call to the Guyana Power and Light Company to adjust their charges. Following the drop in international oil prices, the power company is favorably disposed to so doing following the head of state's request. This will be done soon, according to Cabinet Secretary Dr. Roger Luncheon. With regards to aviation fuel, records have shown very little change, with only aviation fuel prices being reduced at the state-owned Gayol Depot at the Cherry Jagan International Airport. The Cabinet Secretary said that the administration is dealing with the benefits of a regulated sector and government's historical intervention of questioning the flow through the world prices on consumers in Guyana. Thank you for watching this Genie News Capsule. Do join us again. I'm Janelle Carter. Good night.